Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing today, YouTube? It's the man child. All right, straight from NECA, got in the thing, Ultimate McCready Station Survival. Um, yeah, I'm, I am I'm super excited for this figure. It, I, for so many years, I wanted a, a, just a, a perfect representation of a action figure of Kurt Russell with the flamethrower and from the movie The Thing, but NECA knocked it out of the park, man. This is just unbelievable. Um, so they already put out a first version of this figure, and it was a um, Outpost 31, I believe, and I actually have it here. So let's check that out before we get involved in this figure here. All right, so this was the first release here. You can see, I'll let it put some light on it. Um, yeah, the Outpost 31, you can see it has a really reflective, uh, just that really cool art, a poster cover originally came with the thing. So that's, that in itself is cool. But let me show you the difference between these two before we get involved in the uh, uh, Station Survival figure. All right, so side of two different covers. Now, obviously, the review is going to be on the um, state, this, the ultimate state survival. Um, I, w I was waiting for this version because he comes with the blood, the glass container, and a flamethrower. That's what, if anything, I wanted the flamethrower, and I didn't expect him to come with the dynamite. Um, get a petri dish with the blood, with the little wire test he did in the movie. If you're familiar with it, but that's the version I really wanted. And he's got the pistol, the holster, the whole deal. Where this, so we'll open this up, where this first release, and this didn't come out that long ago. It was only a couple months ago, if you're curious. Now, I didn't do a review on this guy, but they look very, they look very identical. Size them up, if you're curious. Um, kind of comparison-wise, as far as the, the clothes of wearing a jacket, but this, he has more of an open mouth. This one's a little closed. He comes with another, a different head, it looks like. And the hat, and the shotgun, the lantern, the, um... The little uh, JD bottle he was drinking in a movie, shot glass, some extra hands. So that's kind of everything this this particular Outpost 31 comes with. Just the cover alone is neat. But that guy I'm going to keep in package. So obviously, once we start playing with heads, you know everything, and this is going to work with the uh, the figure we have here, right? So let's bring him back. Let's open him up, check him out. Comes everything here in the card. Really nice layout. Super collector friendly, as you know, right? Look at the back. We're in already. Look at that. Look at that art. Yeah, he even has like a cool blood effect, all that stuff. We'll simulate that. We'll get him in a package. Really cool. If you're not familiar, you can read the bio. I mean, you know, 1982 Antarctica. I've seen this movie a hundred times. I <laughs> just rewatched it on my buddies too. Just it, it never gets old. It's what a what a fantastic movie. But yeah, pretty cool. So let's get this. Um, let's look. Let's get this guy out of the package, and we're gonna check him out. All right, we got McCready out of the package. Check him out, man. What just unbelievable the sculpt, the paint. I'm. You can't just how impressed I am. I uh. So that's pretty much just how he comes out. It's just the black gloves on right now. Um, I did put the pistol in the holster. And I just left everything as is. Um, but incredible. So let's go over his uh, features and articulation. Now look at that face sculpt. That is, it's scary how perfect that is to Kurt Russell's face at that time. I mean, in a movie at that age. It's, you know, sometimes you get sculpts and they're just, I don't know, they're... They don't look right or they look too plasticky or something. So a lot of, not just NECA, but a lot of companies. But this is, I don't know, did they, I don't think they scanned this. I don't, well, I mean, I, I don't know when they got the license or how they did that, but it's unreal. Wow. But yeah, so obviously that's the unhooded face comes, but um, check out the articulation. Yeah, so, you know, go down, up. Okay, left to right. Rotate around. Excellent articulation. The hand arms. Same thing, everything, the aesthetics are so cool with the coat, the way it's all, there's no pins, nothing like that, so. Pretty good range of motion, right? Forward, back, out like that. Great in the elbow, too, look at that. Look how well that cuts in the jacket, okay? Um, right now, he's got the gloved hand, but this can spin, go in and out. Same thing with both hands. My joint's a little tight on this one, but let's, uh, like that. Okay, same thing, up and down, rotate, down side to side. Way down like that. Okay, his waist. Even had the coat, just the way it's all. Um, the belt. Now it looks like to me, it's kind of this could come off if you want it. I don't know if this could pop off the holster. And it looks like if you want, you could slide it down. But for the most part, it's not. It's a, it's an individual piece. It's not a uh, sculpted to the pants. Um, the pistol. So you can see that. I took that out. We'll look over that in a second. But that's uh, that's the holster, real soft. Um, yeah, we did waist so. Same thing, a great articulation there. Okay, for the uh, hips. Leg can go in and out, both legs, like this. 
on the way back. Excellent knees. Look at that. And it's, I love how these statics, just for the pants and the coat and everything, just blends in with the, uh, trying to articulate it. No pins, excellent. Um, yeah, boots, span left to right, or back and forth. And then he's got foot, or ankle rather. But uh, excellent, excellent articulation. The paint, I mean, just the paint alone. Let's just look at some of the features on it. I mean, just the wrinkles, just the way it's done in the hair, the highlights, just the holster. Um, yeah, even the zippers along the pants, it's all painted. Just excellent. Top, oh, the bullets, the extra bullets on the um, holster of the, uh, of the belt. All right, we got the accessory layout. Yeah, they give you just un just unbelievable with the accessories. I, I couldn't be happier. Um, so yeah, you got the infamous, what I want the most, the flamethrower. We'll look, look at that in a minute. But uh, got the extra head, same thing. Look at the detail on that. I'll put it on shortly. Look at the detail on that. Just yeah, incredible. All right, we have that. We have a little flame effect, effect that goes on the front part of the nozzle of the flamethrower. Trans, done in translucent plastic. That's really cool. It's short. It's not, it'd be cool if we had a longer one. But um, yeah, I'm glad they included that. It's pretty neat. All right, we got one of the uh, rolled up sticks of dynamite. I don't see no you know, fuse on or nothing, but that's pretty cool. They included that. We have the 38 revolver. Even the detail on it is excellent. All right, another cool accessory. I didn't see this one coming, but uh, I got the blood splash in the movie when he did the copper with the copper wire and it jumped out of the Petri dish. So it actually separates like that. You can snap together, but that's really... Uh, it even... Oh, you know what, too? It's hard to see in the light. But it even has uh, uh, Palmer, if you can... I don't know if you can read that. It actually has an inscription when he did the taping that, that happened to the character Palmer. That is so cool. And it has a little wire spool. That heated up with the end of the flamethrower, put in a dish for the uh, blood to react. And my favorite part, the flamethrower. Look at the detail on that. I I couldn't. You couldn't ask for a better job. Just I mean, yeah, all it, how you would fill up in the top. Um, you have just all the uh, the hoses on the valve on the back, even the little um, J bolts. How you would disconnect this? This is so basically with a flamethrower. If you're not familiar. Uh, you got the two fuel tanks would be like a, a chemical mix, um, uh, like that's how they would make napalm, something like that. But it's a heavy gel, diesel type gel, and then this would be your uh, nitrogen or your pressure tank. But um, yeah, just the straps, even the way they did all the individual little straps for the harness in the back that connects to the frame, excellent, really top notch. The hose and even the nozzle. And this is the uh, flame effect uh, plugged into the end, just plugs right in. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, we got the changed out hooded head. Got uh, two different hands. So I got the pistol in one hand. We got the ice pick in the other. Yeah, looking good. All right, we got the... Uh, so I left the two hands, so it seems like the trigger finger would hold the copper wire, or the spool. And then the claw hand has a blood effect. But that look at that. That's all, just like the movie. That is awesome. All right, now obviously the favorite part, I'm trying to uh, get the flamethrower on. It seems to me, just give people a warning. I can totally see something like this snapping in the back or just breaking one of those straps. So it seems to me as I, I would bend the arms all the way back and slide one strap on at a time. That's what I'm going to do, just to kind of give you a heads up. So that seems what's going to work the best. And then bring the arms back, all right? So I'm just kind of trying to show you the setup. Use caution with that. Right, save the best for last, right? McCready with the flamethrower. Look at that. That is so and it it's it's amazing too because your articulation is hands really you can really position it really well. I put it in it's not like awkward off to the side. Yeah, this is excellent. Just the way it grabs everything. You can see the trigger finger totally holds the rear part and this would squeeze uh the lower hand all the way back here to hold it right anyway. But this is, looks like it's ready to come on. I don't know how this is on. You can see that that little the, the uh, hose end to where, where the adapter goes in for the fuel, but it looks like it's almost ready to fall off. So I'm going to put a little glue on that or silicone just to make sure it doesn't. I don't know, but I could see that being an issue. Otherwise, everything else is great. All right. I thought I'd have a little fun here, a little my customization here. So I made my own flame effect with a piece of aluminum. It's aluminum foil painted. I get these are, uh, these are for like an anime style figures, uh, fire effects. And this is a McFarlane thing. But I customize them with another body from I also NECA and I did my own sculpt and potty. Really strange, but that's a 
That's those guys. A little comparison fun. That's those guys together. I'm going on. I'll use the short flame again. Rotate a little bit. A little action scene here. Yeah, it's fun what you can do with these guys. You know, now you got, that, uh, you got McCready with the flamethrower. And um, now NECA did say that they're going to make... They do have some things coming out later or next year. Where I don't know what particular creatures or which ones. But this creature um, here... So let's take a close look at him real quick. All right, so I kind of want to show this guy off. Well, this main part. This, so McFarlane didn't make this. This was his version of the thing. This was the Norris. When um, if you're familiar with the movie where he did the... Uh, with the one doctor was using the defibrillators and went in a guy's chest. But he only made it up to here. It was a small piece, uh, McFarlane's one toys. So what I did was I took a Left 4 Dead figure from also NECA and I cut the chest open. It had all this stuff. I, I think I put a couple of tentacles it didn't have. And then I cut the chest open. I put this in here with some potty and sculpted it and painted and used some wax and stuff. And that's kind of how I made my own. It's not Norris, but a figure similar to that laid out on a table. It's kind of transforming a thing with the upper body. Um, but I bring this up because there is a thing out if you wanted to get a McCready figure from NECA, from McFarlane, makes a couple different versions, and that I have a feeling if, I'm not sure which one NECA's going to go with, but I have a feeling it might be this, this particular one. I would be cool with their own version. And this looks good for McFarlane, but it's not truly accurate to the movie. It's the only downfall, but it is cool. Alright, so that's those guys. All right, Strew McCready next to, uh, so this was in the other, the other thing towards the end of the film. Also, McFarlane made that not... To scale whatsoever he was probably twice the size of this in the film but it is out it's cool there is you know if you want to look for some thing creatures it works you know who says it has to be they're all whatever however wants to manifest itself with size but yeah that works they can go together and we got mccready battle in the norris head that's also mcfarlane he did that is all that also came out as well when uh he had a part where the uh in the movie where the head tore off and it turned in with all the little legs and stuff so that's also McFarlane as I said now I have a feeling that's if any if NECA is going to do any type of things as they're claiming it's definitely going to be that one um yeah pretty cool though it works well and it also just give you if you're not familiar you know until we get some other things out there this is uh yeah actually I mean McFarlane it too I mean look at the detail crazy but it, it's also not accurate to the film if you see the film the legs aren't right the head just the way the eyes are positioned but don't get me wrong it's great so yeah I'm sure if, if um, NECA does it will be definitely film accurate but yeah cool accessory and you can have fun with this stuff it's the way I'm what I'm showing you here setting the setup all right so that's my review on the thing ultimate McCready station survival figure uh, yeah, just fantastic. Everything, I, everything you could ask for in a McCready figure. Accessories are great. Um, articulation works well. You can you see how I set them up. You can pose them with some other monsters or custom stuff or McFarlane stuff. Um, the flamethrower is great. Some little things you got to watch out for, as I said, but otherwise, uh, I, I couldn't be happier. And um, it will work out. I'm sure. Also, I know the parts will switch out with the first release. And I heard Neca said there's probably going to be a third release one. As well, later on in the year with snow covered, like in the, towards the end of the movie, if you you know recall that. So that's that's exciting. You know, all those parts will be interchangeable. Yeah, I couldn't be happier. So thanks for watching. I hope it answers all your questions. I hope everybody's doing great. And until next time, take care.